Hello everyone. I'm going to try and teach you some more loge fun. I've um so far the only way to learn Lojban has been pretty much to read the reference grammar. And that's not a good plan. There should be an easy way to learn Lojban. So I thought it would be nice. I thought for a long time it would be nice to have some video lessons. But I haven't been organized enough to make any. I'm still not organized enough to make any. But I thought I would randomly make some videos and teach you some random stuff. Alright, so what might you need to know to speak Lojba? Well, one important thing is Sumti. What is a Sumti? Now, everything in Lojban is a breedy, a relationship. And every breedy has a celebri, which is the relationship that it's expressing. It has exactly one celebri. There's one celebri in each breedy. And you're, if you're just starting off, people will often tell you, hey, you made a mistake, you put two celebri in your breedy. Because that's, there's, it doesn't work that way. There's just one relationship expressed by each breedy. And we use that in the grammar. If you do say um, a second celebri, it breaks out of the breedy. So like you can, you can embed breedy inside of each other. And if you have an embedded breedy, and then you say a second celebri, that's a clue that you've just left the the embedded breedy and you're out into the main breedy that it was embedded in because it couldn't have two celebri so the second celebri must be part of a different breedy so grammatically that's how that works but in addition to once exactly one celebri each breedy has exactly one terbri and but a terbri is made up of more than one part a terbri the terbri is the arguments the terbri is what's related by the celebri. The celebri expresses a relationship, and the terbri is the various things that are in that relationship. So, um, a terbri could be more than one thing. Like, uh, for instance, walk in Lojban has three different, three different things that are related. The celebri will just be walk, shadzu. Right? But there's three different things that are related. The person who's walking, or person or animal or whatever that's walking. So right now I'm the shadzu. As you can see, I'm walking, so I'm a shadzu. And then the sashadzu is the thing that the shadzu is walking on. This is the sashadzu that I'm walking on right now. And the tashadzu is the limbs they use. My, these are my legs, and these legs are my tashadzu right now. So that's, so it's, there's three different things that make up the terbri, that make up the things that are related by the celebri to make the breedy. Now each of those things that we relate is described by a sumti. A sumti is uh, an argument, is a, a description of something, pointing something out. So, um, in order to express the terbri of a breedy, you give various, you point out various things, and you also mark somehow what role they have in, in the breedy. So like each, each celebri has various roles, and you mark each of the things in the celebri as to what role it's playing. So, so um, the most basic kind of sumti is what we call a prosumti. Now that's a that's confusing because it's an it's an English Lojban mixed word. It's like it's like pronoun or proverb, but it's prosumti. Um, if if there was a Lojban word prosumti, that would mean something else. 
but uh, that's not what we're saying. We're saying something that stands in for sumpti. And so there's various prosumpti that are just uh, simple plain words, like me is a prosumpti and it means me. So if I'm going to say I'm walking, all right, now the I can say, first I can say the celebri, shadzu. All right, so so far we have a breedy and it has in it shadzu. So the celebri is shadzu. That's the only celebri we're going to get in this breedy, and we've said it. All right, now in order to say the terbri, we have to, well, one way we can do it is to both mark what role and say what thing. So we can put the sumpti of me being the shadzu, me walking, by marking it with fa. Fa marks the first place. So we can say shadzu fa me. And me fills in the, the sumpti place expected by the fa all by itself. Um, me, that's, me just stands in for, it, it works as a sumpti all on its own. And we can put that in, in any order because we're specifying what we're marking it with fa to show that that's the first sumpti. So we can we can put the it wherever we want relative to the celebri, and we can figure out because that fa is there. We can figure out what role it's playing. So we can say fa mi shadzu, or we can say shadzu fa mi. That's the same thing. Now another kind of uh, sumpti is a description, uh, and so uh, descriptions often start with articles. That's uh, you can um, you can take any celebri. We reuse celebri to to make descriptions of things to make to make complicated sumti. So you can take um, a celebri like. For instance, dargu is the one I'm going to use. A dargu, the first place of dargu is a road or a path, right? So this is a dargu. And you could say t, t is another prosumpti, prosumpti. It's, it means what you're pointing at. So if I point at this and I say t, then I'm talking about this. I'm talking about the road, right? So I can say t dargu, or, well, I can say fa t dargu, or dargu fati, right? And that, uh, that uh, marks with the fa that the t, it goes in the first place. And the first place of dargu is a road. So that says this is a road, dargu fati. Okay, so, but another thing we can do with dargu is we can take uh, an article, a gadri, and we can refer to something that would go in the first place of dargu and make a description like that. So we take a, an article, for instance, lo, and we put lo and then dargu, and then that's a sumpti that refers to a road. Um, there's also ku, which terminates it, at, but you don't always have to put ku at the end, but um, you're not going to go wrong if you do put ku. So, uh, lo dargu ku is talking about a road. Or like, so we were talking about shadzu. A shadzu means to walk. And the first place of, of shadzu is someone who's walking. So if we say lo shadzu ku, then we take out the first place. And that's a description of a walker. All right. So in the same way that me means me and do means you, lo shadzu ku is, is a sumpti that refers to someone who walks, and lo dargu ku is a sumpti that refers to a road. Okay, so now let's try putting together more of a sentence, all right? Let's use more an, another place of shadzu. The first place of shadzu is the walker, and that's marked with fa, and the second place we mark with fe. It goes fa, fe, fi, fo, fu. One, two, three, four, five. Kind of sound like an angry giant. Fa, fe, fi, fo, fu. All right. So um, the first place of shadzu is marked with fa. Fa, mi, shadzu, or shadzu, fa, mi. I'm walking. 
And the second place is marked with fe. And the second place is what we're walking on. Or in this case, a road. So we're going to say fe and then lodarguku. Uh, so that puts the road into the second place. Fe lodarguku shadzu. That means someone's walking on a road. Because if, I mean, you can say whichever the places you want, right? I mean, you're, um, they're all there. They're not there. It's not like they disappear if you don't say them, but they're just filled in with like something, you know? Like if you say walking on a road in the Zhvan, then it's some, someone or something is walking on a road. Or if you say someone's walking, then it means, well, like if I say I'm walking, then it means I'm walking on something. There's still something I'm not walking on, but you're not necessarily saying. So we can fill in as many of the places as we want. So let's try filling in both of the places, all right? Uh, fa mi fe lo darguku shadzu. I'm walking on the road. Or you can put, it, you can put those in any order because they're, they're the sum to your tagged with fa and fe so you, you know where they go, right? So whatever is the fe tagged thing in the shadzu Breedy is always the thing that you're walking on. The fa tagged thing is always the person who's walking, right? So, so we can say them in any order. We can say thelo darguku fa mi shadzu. We can say uh, shadzu fa mi thelo darguku. We can say shadzu thelo darguku fa mi. Um, and so we don't always have to say fa fe fi fo fu and always sound like an angry giant. We have uh, a little bit of a shortcut, which is if you just start saying sumti, you start say a sentence and you start saying sumti, then they just start being put into the slots one by one. The first one you say goes in the first slot, the second one you say goes in the second slot. There's a little bit of an exception because if you say the celebrity first, then the next thing you say, that's like you, you automatically skip the first one. Right? It's kind of useful though, like, all right, all right, now, if I, I can say, so I can just say, mi lo darguku shadzu. That means I'm the walker, the road is the thing walked on, and then shadzu, I said the celebrity, right? Or I can say, uh, mi shadzu lo darguku, right? That says that it's me, and then walking, and then the road is what I'm walking on. But it's also, it's convenient because you can just say shadzu lo darguku. And that doesn't mean, that doesn't put the road in the first place. It just automatically puts it in the second. So you can, you, if you just, if you just want to say one sumti and the celebrity, then you can say them in two different orders to give two different meanings. You can say mi shadzu, I walk, or you can say shadzu Lo darguku, um, someone walks on the road. So that's a little introduction to how to use sumti, uh, how to make a terabri by using some sumti. Uh, I hope that was educational for you. Shoho.